Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Andrew Glazer, and today I would like to teach you how to divide polynomial functions using long division. So let's take a look at the following problem. So we have 3x squared minus 5x plus 4 is being divided by 3x plus 1. The first thing I'm going to do is set this up in terms of long division, all right? I hate this kind of form, so I'm going to reorganize it. Take a look. Bam. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this term to the left-hand side of that division symbol, and we're going to plug it down in, not rotate it, we're going to plug it in, uh, to the left-hand side of that long division symbol. What's ever then on the right-hand side here gets plugged inside of that long division symbol. So where do we take it from here? So basically what we're going to do is first we're going to focus on the divisor. And what you want to do is you want to locate the variables, all right? So you only have an x here. So that makes it kind of simple. But imagine if you had a 2x squared or something like that. What you're going to do is you're going to focus on the highest powered x term. Okay, so you'd be focusing on this in that particular case, and you wouldn't really worry about that. But since we only have one variable, this is the highest powered x term. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this highest powered x term of the divisor, and we're going to divide it into the highest x-powered term of the dividend. Okay, don't worry about anything else. So let's write that math on over here on the side. So it's going to be 3x squared all over 3x. And when you simplify this, right, 3s go bye by one of the... You know, one of the x's cancels and you're left with just x. So this is now your quotient. So when you take your divisor, divide it by the dividend, you get the quotient. God, I just want to give the person who came up with these names a big giant hug. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that to them. No, no. Love always wins. Love always wins. So plug in your x value here in the, on top of that long division symbol. That's where the quotient goes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to set up your subtraction here. So put in a subtraction symbol and parentheses. Now take this value of the quotient and you're going to multiply it by each term here in your divisor. So you're going to take x times 3x, which is 3x squared. And if you did this right, it should match this. Then you're going to take the x and multiply it by positive 1. Obviously that's just an x, right? Or you can write in positive 1x. Now, before you do any of the math, what you have to do is take this subtraction symbol and now distribute it to each term there inside of your parentheses, all right? So basically, whoops, basically everything's gonna become a negative now, right? You're gonna turn the positive into a negative. Don't do that in life, okay, only here. And now you're going to do the uh, math. So that just cancels. When you add these two together, basically, right, they're both negative, so you add them together, it's gonna be minus six x. There's nothing here, so you can plug in a zero if you like, right? And that's just gonna be then plus four, okay? You just bring the four on down. Now. This is basically your new dividend. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your divisor, take the highest powered x term, and divide it into now the highest powered x term in your dividend. So let's do that math over here on the left-hand side. So it's going to be negative six x all over three x, and that now simplifies down to write the x's go bye-bye, and then you're left with negative two. This is now your, uh, this is now another quotient value. So since it's negative, it basically means a subtraction, okay? So it's x minus two. Now what you're gonna do, set up your subtraction here, minus sign or subtraction symbol, open those parentheses, okay, and close them. And then take this negative two now and distribute it to each of the two terms in your divisor. So the negative two multiplied by the three x is gonna be a negative six x, and if you did it correctly, that should match, okay? And then you're gonna take your negative two, multiply it by a positive one. And that's gonna work out to be now negative two. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that negative symbol on outside basically and distribute it, okay? When you distribute it, since they're both negative, two negatives become a positive, right? Now that's the life rule you wanna follow. Turn the negatives into the positives, my friend. So these just cancel when you add them together and then this is gonna work out to be a six, okay? Now basically we're done with the process, okay? We do have a remainder here, um, it's not zero. So what you're gonna do now, if you have a number other than zero here, is you're going to, with its sign, by the way, it's positive, with its sign now, you're gonna write this plus, then you're gonna write that remainder six, and you have to divide it by your dividend. No, no, divisor, oh my goodness. I knew I was gonna mess it up, I just knew it. Your divisor, I just wanna give that person a big giant hug. So three X plus one, cool. So this technically now, I know it looks a little strange with the formatting, but this is going to now represent your quotient, okay? This is the answer, technically. Now, 
Of course, we like to check our work, right? So maybe we should institute a checking procedure here because maybe I made a mistake. You never know. And what I'm going to do now is set up a simple math equation. So basically what, what we did was we took this dividend, 3x squared minus 5x plus 4, divided it by the divisor, 3x plus 1, and that's going to equal the quotient, big giant hug, big giant hug. So let's just write that on down. So this is going to be 3x plus 1. All right. How do you check from here? Well, there's a couple of things you can potentially do. I think the easiest thing to do is just make up a value for x. Now you can use zero, you can probably use any number you like. Technically there's probably going to be one value you don't want to use, and what that would be is a negative one-third. And the reason for that is because if you take negative one-third, multiply it by three, it's a negative one, then when you add it to one, it works out by zero. You can't divide something by zero, it's undefined. Now you probably wouldn't choose negative one-third anyway, right? Unless you're strange like me. But I would suggest choosing something like a 2 or a 1. You can do 0, though. I'm just going to do 0 to be lazy. In certain cases, though, I probably wouldn't choose that number. Okay? In any case, plug in 0 everywhere now you have an x. So just plug it on in. Let's plug in a 0 over here. There we go. 0 minus 2 plus then 6 over 3 times 0 plus 1. Let's start simplifying. So this just goes bye-bye, that goes bye-bye, that goes bye-bye. That's a zero, so that's just nothing. And that goes bye-bye. So what are we left with? We're left with four over one. Cool. It's gonna be equal to now negative two. And then there's gonna be six over one, right? So plus now six over one. So four over one is just four. Six over one is just six. And positive six minus two is a four and omg -ness. It worked out. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Okay, what that check did, by the way, is it just proved to us that we have equality between what's being divided here and our quotient. So, I'm pretty confident. I was going to say comfortable. Confident. I'm pretty confident that uh, this is going to be the right answer. So, guys, again, thanks for tuning in. Check out, by the way, our channel because we got thousands of videos out there, not only mathematics, but if you f happen to find yourself taking physics or chemistry, and eventually biology, and maybe even statistics. Ooh, such a dirty word, statistics. Then you'll love our channel. Thanks for tuning in.